Okay guys, here's another video where we're going to be going over the rules for international wushu competition and this one's going to be quick. We're just going to be talking about the requirements for weapons length. For any of the primary competition events, this would be for Jianshu, Daoshu, Gunshu, Qiangshu, Nandao, Nangun, and Tai Chi Jian. Uh, each of those events has a requirement for the length of the weapons and this is really important. Uh, let's go to the rule book right here. When a sword or broadsword, this is for a jian or for a dao, is held in a competitor's left hand, the tip shall be no lower than the ear top. So uh, what does this mean? I've got some swords here, and uh, if you bear with me, we can talk about the uh, length here. So for jian shu, okay, if you're holding the sword in your left hand, right, cradled uh, like this, and you're standing straight up and down, the tip of the sword should hit the top of the ear. Okay, so again, I'm holding the sword with my arm straightened, and the tip of the sword must hit the ear. Okay, that is the requirement for Jian Shu. For Dao Shu, it's the same thing. Okay, so for broadsword, right, we're going to cradle the sword in our left hand just as if you were starting your form. You'll extend the left arm alongside the body, and you'll see that the tip of the sword must hit the top of the ear. Okay. Next is for the cudgel, or for the staff. The length of the cudgel shall be no shorter than the performer's height, and the length of the spear no shorter than the distance from the floor up to the middle fingertip when standing upright with the arm held straight overhead. So what does this mean? Let's first go over for the cudgel or for uh, guan, for staff. Okay, so if you're standing and the, the butt of the staff is touching the ground, the tip of the staff must be at least at the top of the head. So if I'm standing up straight, the staff is touching the ground, right? the tip of the staff must be at least at the top of the head. All right, so that's the minimum requirement for the staff. For the spear, we're going to stand the same way with the butt of the spear touching the ground, but we're going to extend one arm and the tip of the spear, right? the spear tip, must reach to the top of the middle finger of the extended arm. So if we're standing straight, the base of the spear is touching the ground. If I extend my arm all the way up, okay, the tip of my finger has to hit the top of the spear. Okay? And finally, for the last one, we'll talk about the southern style broadsword. So this is for Nandao. With a southern style broadsword held in the left hand, the tip shall be no lower than the lower jaw. So it's here. Okay. So this is for the Nandao. We're going to cradle it in one hand, just as if you were starting your form, and stand at attention. And that tip of the sword must be at least reaching up to the chin. Okay, uh, why is this important? You're going to ask me, uh, Brandon, what is the deduction? if my weapon uh, is too short. And I've got a surprise for you. There is no deduction. Uh, let's jump into the course book for uh, judging. And it says, if during a competition, the athlete's weapon does not conform to the required standards, the head judge will not judge and present the competitor's score. What does this mean? This means that if you show up at an international competition or a competition where they're being judged according to the international rules and your weapon is not long enough, the head judge has the right to not give you a score. You're basically forfeiting your event. Okay? So this is very, very important for all competitors to be training with a weapon that meets these requirements. The worst thing that can happen to you right, is if you're training with a shorter weapon, you travel all the way across the, the globe to a competition and right before your event, you're told that your weapon is too short and what do you do? Right? You're going to scramble and try to find someone else's weapon, borrow someone else's weapon that you're not familiar with, has a different length, and then attempt to compete with that weapon. Right now, for all athletes out there who are interested in competition, make sure that your weapon meets these requirements. For Jen and for Dao, right, the tip of the sword needs to reach the top of the ear when, when standing. All right, your staff, your gun, has to reach the top of your head, and the spear must reach the top of the fingers. This, this is the one that I think is most common in competition. I see a lot of athletes whose spears do not reach the, the tip. And, and, and don't give me any kind of explanation about, oh, it's hard for me to find a spear that's long enough for me. Okay, I'm, I'm five foot 11, 
It's about 180 centimeters, and I have more than one spear that is long enough. Okay, so so no, uh, there's uh, no explanation. If I can do it, then you can do it. Um, so this was a really really quick video. Again, always consult the rule book. Check the requirements for your forms, for your uniforms, and for uh, any of your um, choreography, and uh, especially for this weapons requirement, uh, you're, you're, you're risking forfeiting your score in an international competition. So uh, this one's a quick one. If you have any questions, leave comments, and uh, see you in the next one.